Okay, so what do we got here for this week? Uh, stupid people outraged over nothing. Hardly news. Uh, Mike Huckabee said something ignorant and offensive. No. Justin Bieber, no. Oh, the Vampire Diaries celebrated their 100th episode. Oh god, have I really watched 100 episodes of the Vampire Diaries? Ugh. <sighs> oh! Here we go. Taking advantage of Superman Batman's 10 month delay, Marvel has announced that they're moving Ant-Man up two weeks to fill that uh, apparently valuable July 17th spot. And speaking of Superman Batman, Gal Gadot has revealed that she's contracted to play Wonder Woman in three films. Presumably Superman Batman, a Justice League movie, and of course, a supporting role in an Aquaman movie. With nearly a month since the catastrophic launch of the Pokemon Bank, Nintendo has finally tried to re-release the software, hopefully without crippling their whole e-store this time. Pokemon Bank has successfully relaunched in Japan, but no word yet on a North American release. In Star Wars news, the final nail was put in the coffin for Star Wars 1313. The highly anticipated game was one of the darlings of 2012's E3, but was cancelled when Disney bought the franchise. The trademark for the game lapsed this week when Disney failed to apply for a renewal. But it's not all bad news. The current rumor floating around hyperspace is that Pixar has been approached to do a Star Wars movie of their own. Finally, for our video of the week, we have everybody's favorite track from Frozen. In this case, set to the opening of the World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King opening. And that's all for me this week. Be sure to like and subscribe down below, leave a comment, share the video with your friends, and have a great week.